And here we have an interesting problem before, something that's often confusing because sometimes we let our intuition get in the way of the laws of Newton or any laws of physics and we see things not quite in the right way. So let's say we have two people here pulling on a string in both, in both directions, this person pulling to the left, this person to the right with a force of 98 Newtons and in between we attach a spring scale uh, with the hook on one end uh, where it actually, this hook is attached to the actual spring inside the spring scale and on the other side there's a little ring at the bottom that's attached to the housing of the scale which is not connected to the spring scale in there. So the question is what would the scale read? And sometimes we look at that and go well if one person is pulling a 98 newtons in one direction the other person is pulling a 98 newtons in the other direction shouldn't the reading on the scale then be the twice that or 196 newtons so sometimes students will say oh no problem I know this has to be 196 newtons but it's not true in actuality the force you'll read on the scale is simply equal to 98 newtons and you say well wait a minute how can that be so one way to look at it is for example what would happen if the person on the right did not pull on it at all simply let go of that and the person left kept on pulling with 98 newtons what would the spring now read? Well if this person wasn't pulling at all and this person was pulling with a force of 98 newtons and that is not attached to the actual spring but simply to the housing of the scale this spring would simply come back and register zero newtons. So in the case and let me use a different color in the case if this is now F2 equal to zero newtons then this would simply go down to zero newtons and using Newton's second law we know that F equals MA and therefore A equals F divided by M and if this person wasn't pulling back and we have a force of 98 Newtons and the mass of the object the scale was one kilogram then we'd say that the acceleration would be 98 meters per second squared by the way that would be quite an acceleration alright so what happens now if this person and let me use a different color again now starts pulling with a force of 10 newtons so what would happen now well this person would be pulling on this hook which is attached to the, to the spring of the spring scale with 10 newtons so now the spring scale would show a force of 10 newtons but since the person on the left is still pulling with a force of 98 newtons the net force would be 88 newtons and there still would be quite an acceleration so in that case we would have acceleration equals F net divided by the mass in this case the net force would be 98 newtons minus 10 newtons divided by 1 kilogram which would now be 88 meters per second square so you see that only the person on the right which has a spring attached to the actual spring scale hook which is attached to the spring of the scale would induce a tension reading on the scale and not until the person on the right pulls with a force of 98 newtons which equals the force on the left of 98 newtons that the acceleration would stop acceleration would go to zero and the spring scale would indeed show a reading of 98 newtons and not 196 newtons and that's how you use and manipulate well we shouldn't say manipulate but that's how you use Newton's laws of motion to get a full understanding of each problem like that so you don't make those intuitive mistakes so another good example of how to look at Newton's laws of motion